This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Caveside Press here with PFL Lightweight, the CEO, the head of Anthony Pettis Fighting Championships, Anthony Pettis, ahead of their third event of 2022. Uh, Anthony, I mean, you're back home in Milwaukee. We were just talking about it. As When you think about coming up on the local scene and now you have your own promotion and you're able to give the next guys and girls coming up a platform, how do you even put it into words what's that like to, to be able to bring that back to your hometown? Yeah, man, I'm not even just my hometown. You know, my first APFC was actually in Florida. And uh, the main event on that, Lucas Alexander, you know, he got signed with the UFC. So to see it actually happen, you know, like the goal was to give these guys a platform, but obviously give them the platform to get to the bigger organizations. Like in a, a quick, uh, I wouldn't say a quick, a quick way, but the, the right eyes are watching these fights. And um, that just shows that just shows it there, you know. And then we also had uh, Argo Husik that signed with the PFL. Um, so two of my two of my you know uh, day one you know fighters are already assigned with two bigger organizations and um you know we had a great APFC card in the mid uh, Midwest Invitational we just did out here and now we're finishing out the year here so I mean it's uh it's cool it's cool it's cool to be in this this side of it you know to, to be in the promoter side and like getting the fights matching the right fights getting the uh, the venue to get together and just kind of getting that the uh, it's like throwing a party every time man it's like a, a brand new party every time you're starting. I mean, can we talk about this lightweight main event? Because I don't have to tell you, tomorrow's a big day. There's a ton of shows running. Why should fans tune in for APFC and make sure they don't miss this fight that you got coming up tomorrow? I mean, honestly, from from the main event to the first fight on the card, um, our first fight on the card, Sergio Placencia, one of the you know Chicago's like up and coming guys, Midwest guys right now, you know that are come up and coming Mexican Hispanic dude. And he, I mean, he brings a crowd. You know, when he fights, like you could see, you could feel it in the audience, and it's you could tell them kind of guys are the ones that are gonna. You know, take it to that next level because I mean that's how I I know from experience that's how I was you know I had I had the crowd behind me I gave them I, I uh, show I put a show on and uh, you know the the fans love that um second fight of the night actually is Brandon Evans one of one of my one of my guys that I'm, I look forward to watch fighting uh, this guy's a, a taekwondo black belt came up in the same uh, organization organization that I did ATA it's called um he's a black belt in ATA he teaches at uh, my gym actually the his uh, striking is insane but he's he's been winning his fights with wrestling so i'm excited to see what you know when, once he actually lets that let, lets his uh striking go um on the main event obviously you know hopper and, and juan roman both of them guys coming with good records you know two, two losses one loss and um they're both coming to make a statement you know i think um the, the, both of them guys are one step away from the big shows you know to talk about you you've had quite the busy year obviously getting things rolling with apfc um, you won your team won at the UFC Invitational over the summer, and then you yeah. had a great opener for the PFL in your season debut this year. Um, mm -hmm. Professionally, what would you say stand out? What's your crowning moment? What's the one that was like, man, like we did that when you look on your 2022? Uh, man, my 2022, obviously the win, the first fight in the PFL. Um, you know, going out there getting the first round finished, I felt like it was something I was shooting for. Um, I broke my hand in that fight, so the rest of the season I had a broken hand. And it was like just one of them frustrating moments in my career as a professional, as a fighter myself. You know, having to fight, and in the PFL you can't take time off. Like you go from fight to fight to fight. So like literally, I had to go to the next fight with a broken hand. Um, fight Stevie Ray with a with a broken hand. He he submits me. I'm like, man, I had a great great start to the season, and then you know go to that fight. Um. And then we go to New York, you know, Madison Square Garden, and I and I thought I had a great performance, but again, you know, fighting with a compromised, two compromised hands in that fight was just like frustrating as an, as a professional. But like when I got to change hats and throw that promoter hat on, and you know, and had the the my event was actually right out a week after my last fight with uh, Stevie Ray. Um, it felt good to see these guys, you know. I mean, it's part of the game. The wins and losses come. Um, it's, it's just all about who's like who's better that night. You know, for that five minutes at a time, we literally live our our lives five minutes at a time. And whatever happens, you know, the world sees, and we have to we have to right our wrongs if if we if we lose or we got to continue doing what we're doing to, to win. Now, to ask you a little bit about that, obviously Stevie Ray is in that final against Olivier Oben Mercier. Who do you see taking it next week? Man, honestly, I, I thought Stevie Ray, you know, when I was, before I was fighting Stevie Ray, I thought, you know, like, I didn't say I, would, I wrote him off, but I was like, yeah, I think I, you know, I got, I got the skill set to, to you know, beat this guy. He just dug deep, you know, he was, you know, using the right movements, you know, he used his wrestling very well, took my back. Um, He's a pretty smart fighter and he has a, a well-rounded skill set. Um, Mercier looked, uh, honestly, very, very good this season, man. It's very hard to, like, go against him. I think the odds are, like, two to one Mercier. But um, I I would say um, I think uh, you know, Steve Ray will surprise some people. I think he's gonna dig deep. You know, he's he's fighting for his family. 
And then uh, to ask you a little bit of PFL stuff, going into that 2023 season, it looks like, you know, they're, they're splitting it. They're running a regular season and then the pay-per-view showcase. People are wondering, Anthony Pettis is a big name. Has it been decided whether you'll be doing regular season, pay-per-view, or possibly both yet? I'm not sure yet, honestly. You know what? We're, I'm letting the season play out. You know, obviously, they're, they're busy with this season here before we go in there and start figuring out what's next year for me. Um, I actually just got married last weekend, man. So... Um, I'm starting. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Long time coming. My wife, you know, she uh, an amazing woman. She uh, she waited for me for this long. We were engaged for like six years, so we oh, finally huh. you know, actually got married. And uh, you know, it feels good to be uh, you know, and uh, on that side of it. But now my doctor actually cleared me to start um, training again. So next week when I get back to Vegas, I get right back to work, and uh, I'm gonna take it slow. You know, I don't want to like rush into things and you know try to book a fight. I want to you know, get my body feeling right and you know see how see how it feels again. Uh, just as a quick side note, at any point in those six years, did your now wife ever say, Anthony, you can't just keep putting it off. We got to actually make a date already. Now, you know what? I think it was both of us. Just because, like, you know, when you're a fighter, you live your fight. You live your life fight to fight. And, you know, I mean, when I was in the UFC, I was busy, bro. Like, I would literally take fights, you know, spur of the moment. And she supported that. So that's why, you know, I could never, like, you know, she 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 allowed me to live that life, you know, for that that time. Um, and now that when I'm in the PFL, I get to, like, you know, plan things out. You know, we knew when the season was. We knew, like, when the end would be. And, you know, so it felt good to, um, you know, actually tie, tie the knot and, uh, you know, become a married man. Uh, to bring it back to APFC before I let you go, obviously several guys now are in the promoting game, Faber, Kraus, and others. Um, when you think about that, just – um. I guess, is this the next step? You know, obviously, you know, when the you decide to hang up the gloves for yourself, is this that thing you feel that's going to be like, hey, you know, how I keep myself motivated, how I just keep myself busy when, you know, training day in, day out becomes the, you know, the, takes the back seat? You know what, I think um, it's, it's a combination of a lot of things. Like, I wouldn't say just this. You know, this is part of what makes me happy, you know. Doing these shows ain't easy, you know. And I know these fighters are feeling it. Like, just because you got a, a fight pass deal and you and you got, you know, um, the the the, the broad the, that broadcast doesn't mean you're going to get the views. Doesn't mean the seats are going to be filled. Doesn't mean you're going to profit in the actual fight show. Um, and pay the fighters and make sure everything flows that way. I mean, it's not easy to get promoter license I mean, there's a lot there's a lot that goes into that side so i think um you know the first generation of fighters that are doing this um it's it's smart for ufc fight pass obviously you know they're they're it's it they're they're people that are watching these fights want to watch you know these guys our names they know our names already so you know when we broadcast out ufc fight pass gets you know they're they're um not, not only new fans but like our fans the guys that watch you know anthony petters or you're our favorite or you know because we all got our, our core fans that you know watch anything that we do or they, they follow our they follow our careers um, but, you know, guys like Faber, man, like I remember when Faber was a WC champ, I looked up to him and I still do like as, as a businessman, that guy was, you know, had an elf team, alpha male, you know, he's just a smart guy with, uh, you know, his platform. And and I think this just makes sense. You know, if you, if you are a little bit business oriented, um, it's 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 not easy at all by any means, but it definitely makes sense because, uh, you know, we all own gyms. I own gyms. I have fighters that come up that are looking up to me. So it's just uh, giving them a platform. And then final question, you know, talking about that, obviously your fans just want to know like, hey, what can we expect from Anthony Pettis? What do you want your fans to know about, you know, just the love they've sent you this year and what can they expect from you next year too? Oh man, I, I love my fans. You know, the fans have been supporting me for a long time. You know, I've, I've been blessed to have a career that's been almost 18 years now when I say that it's crazy you know I started I turned pro when I was 17 and I'm 35 now so like to, to say that 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 mean amount of years you know fighting is it's crazy and uh you now I'm blessed to have the fan base that I have and I think of as a promoter I'm definitely gonna have you know some great fight cars coming up next year more well planned out um I think um uh more more different places obviously we Milwaukee's our, our core but we're looking to shoot for Texas next year Las Vegas and go back to Florida um goals for myself as a fighter is uh you know get get my body feeling right that's the first thing i want to do you know i had my hands you know my, i had two hand injuries last year that I, I had to get fixed and i gave time off um I, i'm happy as a person you know like so i feel like i'm in a good spot to go back and, and have a good training camp well anthony looking forward to it once again yeah. apfc three tomorrow night and then obviously anthony pettis continuing his work in the pfl in 2023 uh, we're it, looking forward to it have a great afternoon have a great event sir thank you man appreciate it